All right, guys, so it is raining, but that's Portland for you guys. It rains here like every day, but it's okay. It's actually, I don't think raining. Oh no, it is raining right now, but oh wellsies. So are we just gonna head to Doc Mansion? Or? Do you want to get something to eat first? Yeah. What do you want to eat? Um, do you know what I want? What? What do you think I'm gonna say? Veggie girl? No. Oh. I want sushi. Oh yeah. I want sushi too. But I don't know where to get it. Maybe we can look it up on uh, my phone. You guys, I wanted to show you this app. It's this one right here. It's called Deep Sleep and it has a little moon on it. And me and Travis sleep with a fan on in our room. So we, you click on it. And I really like this one, this brown noise. I'll show you guys. It sounds just like a fan, and so I turned this on while we were going to sleep, and did you like the brown noise app? I did, I felt too. Yeah, same here. And then I turned it on, because it turns off on its own. There's pink noise. That one's higher pitched, I don't like that one. It's white noise. That's too high pitched, I like the brown. But they have like birds, they have crickets. <laughs> Travis never gets scared. He's no fun. I flinched. Was that a good five hour poop? Yep. So I just put on a perfume. It's Miss Dior Blooming, I think is what it's called. Blooming. And it smells so good. Like at first I was like, <coughs> like it was like really strong. But now it's like really vanilla y. It has like a really strong vanilla undertone. And it smells really, really good. So we're at Sushi Land, and me and Travis used to come here all the time. When we first started dating. Yeah, like the first few years we started dating, because I lived right there in those apartments. Do you see that right there? I lived there, so we'd come here all the time. <laughs> yep. Memories, I know. And we always, oh, we're good, yeah. And these are asparagus cream cheese rolls, Yeah, and these were like our favorites back then. Look guys, it's foggy and creepy. It's perfect. Bing, look, there it is. Yeah, keep filming. You, maybe they'll see a ghost in the footage or something. So pretty, man. I want to live there so bad. Look at it. It's so pretty. Can you imagine being that rich back in the day? They had so much money. They have lots of hiking trails around here too, guys. So if you're ever in Portland, come to the Pittock Mansion and then I think you can go down this little area right here and you can hike. There's lots of cool trails and they're fun too. We actually hiked those one time. There's Georgiana Pittock, that's his wife. This is how Portland looked and this is his house. Can you imagine? Did you see that in that window? Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god. Oh, I think you I guys look closely. Something move up there. Ooh. Look at the windows. That's where it always happens. It's so cool. Can you imagine? Look at this. Mm. This is where he brought his little horse and carriage. I really want, I'm really hoping David Pumpkins is in here. <laughs> Tara doesn't know who David Pumpkins is. Do you guys know who David Pumpkins is? Look at how pretty, look at the moss. I feel like I'm at Disneyland. This is the library. I know. Look at this. Look at the staircases. What's this here? It's like a maze. Look at this in here. This is... Look at this ceiling. It's so pretty. Look at that ceiling. I know. And there's like a deck out there that they could probably sit on. The second invention that we see in this area, although um, was not originally intended for the house, is the elevator. 
Um, Mrs. Pittock had a stroke during construction, and they changed the central portion of the architectural plans to allow for a four-story elevator. This is an interesting elevator. Many years ago, I had an antique elevator restore on one of my tours, and I learned a lot about this particular elevator. It is an Otis elevator, and what astonished him the most was it was built for a skyscraper and he had never seen it in a house. So we have a skyscraper style, top of the line, most expensive elevator you could buy put into this house. Refrigerator. Look at that fridge. Oh, look at this, the kitchen. Is that the original floor? It's so pretty. This is like the picture on the cover of my book. They use the Pittock Mansion on it. He's picking out a splinter out of his butt. Oh my gosh. We should get a picture like this of Yuki done. A jet in a frame just like this <laughs> in our house. That'd be so cute. Look at the laundry room. It's huge. There's so many just like corridors and stuff, you know? I'm so curious what stuff like this is. Like they have a bunch of doors blocked off that you can't go in, but it's like, what's behind that window? I'm so curious. <laughs> what? I'm just curious like when they block things off, like what's behind that window, you know? Like, what's all the places that are blocked off? I'm just know. curious. Like, they have all these doors and... Torture chambers. Like that door. What's behind that door? The other torture chamber. Go in it, I dare you. That's what it says. It was a billiards room, but they never had a pool table or anything like that. This room down here? Yeah, but then they said... Somebody said they used it for storing spare uh, furniture. Oh. Huh. So the lady said they only lived here. She... Like four years. For like four years. But it remained in the family. The daughters lived here. And it only cost, what, like $270,000 $270, to build? Yeah. We could buy this. Do you want to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, obviously, that was a lot of money, but. What's that weird guy doing? That weird transparent guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that Georgiana? This is where you'll start seeing something start rocking. <laughs> Come on, toys. Come on, you could do it, toys. Is that seriously a kid's toy right there? That's, that's a puppet show thing. Look at the clown in there. Oh, oh my god. This is the scariest clown I've ever seen. Hey, clown, move. Move, clown. <laughs> Huh? He just moved. No, he's gone. Pan back there. He's gone. Oh, he's still there. He came back. <laughs> this is a small room. Look at those little, that little devil thing's gonna stand up and come chase you. Imagine yeah. that thing running at you at night. It's so pretty out the windows. Look at that. that shower it's so interesting too because like what was so nice back then versus like what's nice now nice. Georgiana Piddock's bedroom this was her private space so this was her own personal bedroom that's kind of cool pretty mirror That's based on a famous marble sculpture, oh, really? um, the Gaul. I remember that piece because it was really interesting. It was, it was artwork done of the defeated Gaul, mm -hmm. but they respected them so much that they made artwork about them. Oh, cool. They were great warriors. That's interesting. Yeah. That would be so fun to sit out on. Can you imagine? Have your morning coffee out there. Thing. Whoa, look at that. It's like a torture chamber shower. 
What is this? Kid bath? Puppy bath? <laughs> this is the niece's bedroom. Georgiana Piddock orphaned teenaged nieces, Helen Van Hooten and Louise Gallien. They lived in this bedroom for several years. It's so pretty from the outside. I love this, like, like what is it, Renaissance? French Renaissance, is that what she said? It's so pretty. Reminds me of like a gothic vampire house. It looks so much bigger from the outside, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, that'll be the thumbnail. This is our second car crash. Um, and it was the exact same thing coming into town yesterday. There's always, a, every time I come to Portland, somebody rear ends somebody. So we just got out of the big traffic jam that it caused, but it's our, our yeah, it's just a rear end job. It's raining hard. Next time we come up here, we should go hike the trails by the mansion. That'd be fun, huh? Yeah. I bet you it's busy, though. On a nice day? Yeah. yeah. I'd rather just, I like walking across the waterfront and going to Saturday Market. That's one of my favorite things to do in Portland. Yeah. We're gonna get coffee at Starbucks, like we always do, on the trip home. And I'll hopefully fall asleep. We're gonna see our little girlies. Yeah. I got them a couple dresses at H&M. And then I got Bug, like a parrot shirt, and then I got him like this little flower crown. And they always like it when we bring something back, whether it's like clothes or a toy or whatever. We don't care. You gotta bring them something. Yeah, I like it. So. And then I also got some stuff, which I'll probably haul later. for the vlog. We actually started to watch Fantastic Beasts tonight, but the girls got really tired, so we're going to finish it tomorrow. But I'm going to start editing this vlog, and I think I'm going to put it into two videos, so I'll do yesterday and then today in separate videos. So um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these vlogs, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!